what is that smell? Ah. So we had this really bad odor uh, coming from under the sink. You know, every time we open the door for the garbage, because uh, it's in a drawer, we'd smell it. Or anytime we open one of the other drawers that was under the sink, a very bad, foul odor uh, emanated from there. And so we scrubbed out the cabinets in there, uh, scrubbed out the garbage cans in there, and just the odor would not go away. Um, so after further investigation, I figured it was, uh, the odor was coming from the gray tank. Now how could that possibly be? Because you've got a pea trap there which traps any odors uh, from coming up through the sink and that. So it turns out that there's this uh, vent that's in line in the uh, drain system of the uh, sink. And, and it's very common for this device to be used uh, when you have uh, an island, center island sinks because you can't run a vent pipe up to the ceiling through from there uh, so they have this inline vent and it draws in air uh, to help the uh, sink drain and so it's an inexpensive part but boy can really raise up a stink so let me show you Under your what I found you may find something that looks like that. There's the pipe. There's from the sink. Get this out of the way. This here is what's called a uh, P trap. Water sits in here. And then it goes through here and out and down to the gray tank. And to help the sink drain faster, there's an air inlet valve on top of this pipe. So what it does is it's got a rubber flapper with a spring in there. And it uh, allows air in when there's a vacuum here, such as water running out from the sink and down. Creates a vacuum, opens the valve, and allows air to come in through here. So most of your newer RVs are going to have this, especially if you have a center island sink, uh, you'll have that. But after a while that rubber deteriorates and then that vent valve is open all the time and you get odors right out of the great tank, straight up from the tank, up and out. So you do have to periodically replace those. So this just unscrews right off. And there it is. So on my rig, the pipe has a male thread one and a quarter inch diameter. So this is what came with the RV. So the placement part I got, uh, and I didn't find any with a female on them, but a male connection. So this is what I got. Now these are really cheap to replace. I got this at Ace Hardware. It's called an inline vent, drain vent. And it was like $3.60. So really cheap, but it's a male one and a half inch thread. Uh, and I couldn't find any female vent like that. So I had to make an adapter. Got these parts at Home Depot as well. So we got a one and a half inch 
female threading which this then can screw in on the top and then couldn't go from the one size down to the other so we put a one and a half inch female on the other side with the coupler and then an adapter to go from one and a quarter female to one and a half inch male so here I'll show you how that all looks so now we take the part that we made and screw it on here and there it's on nice and snug it's a little taller than it was but it's okay and it will stop all the odors so there is the culprit just uh, now you can get this at Ace like I said it was really cheap or you can get them on Amazon and I'll give you a link for for some on Amazon just watch I went to Home Depot and they had some really expensive ones. You don't need those. Um, those are for a higher volume airflow. Um, so uh, just watch out. You don't need to spend $25, $18, three and a half bucks. Uh, Amazon also has them. So, all right. So, this, uh, besides opening and letting air in when you drain your sink it's also when you empty your tanks this valve opens because the negative pressure this will prevent the p-trap from emptying out when you drain the tanks drain better so i also found one of these in uh in the bathroom sink as well so you may have more than one in your rig you may have one at each sink so you need to check under the cabinet and look and here it is in our bathroom sink right there now i got less room to make any kind of adaptions so so you've got to keep an eye on them. okay well that's it for today's video uh if you like the video give me a thumbs up appreciate it that helps out our channel and uh, if you haven't done so yet uh, please subscribe and you could also um, shop Amazon through one of my Amazon links down below I earn a little commission uh, if if you do uh, buy something through those links and that helps support our channel as well and those links are in the description below so check them out all right, until next time, happy camping, and bye now. Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.